What's going on guys? This is Salty Parchment and today I'm not bringing you my regular Minecraft, Call of Duty, or even GTA video. I'm actually telling you how to change your mouse cursor. As you can see, I have a diamond sword. I have other stuff and I'll tell you guys about that later. But I'm using XSplit and Fraps right now for some reason it like fades my mouse cursor. I had to do a lot of stuff to make it even show, but this is not how it actually looks. It actually looks a lot better, so I'm just going to be teaching you guys how to do this. Very simple and very easy tutorial. Um, so yeah, I'll have this link in the description or you can just type it up, it's really easy, cursor.cc, extremely easy, you just want to click that. And I just want to say before I start off, this is for Windows 8, so if you're on Windows 7 and you know a lot about computers, then you'll still be able to do it because this is a super easy tutorial. And as you can see, if I click on a link, it actually turns to an iron sword, so that's really cool as you see that. So here you go, here's cursor.cc. And this is where you're going to draw what your cursor is going to look like. I did my diamond sword and iron sword on here. Uh, you can make it smaller, whatever you want. You could also import an image just by clicking import image and putting it in your file, but it has to be a certain size, so make sure it doesn't pass the limit. And yeah, so let's get started off. I'm going to make my amazing, amazing cursor. Um, I don't know what I want to do. I'll just put like that, like that. Um, and this obviously makes it transparent. This is the transparent background. And if you do import an image, you gotta make sure that you do make the background transparent or just have it already transparent in a PNG file. And here you go. Here's what our cursor looks like. If you look down here, you can see what it's gonna look like. And make sure that if you're not putting it in the corner where you wanna put it, make sure to adjust the hotspot where you want it to click. Um, obviously it's the best part to have it in a corner like that, but you can also set the hotspot for right there and you can see where it clicks, just watch this, and you have to click it with that edge. So I'm just going to put the hotspot there, and there we go. So this looks pretty good, uh, I guess, but after you're done your image, you're just going to want to click download cursor. So just do that, and it'll download really fast, then you're just going to want to put it onto your desktop, like so, and uh, then you can exit out of that. And you're gonna want to copy um, the whole file, so just click copy and go on your files. And yeah, so you just gotta wait for that to load up. Then you're gonna want to go into your C drive. Uh, let's go over there. Then you're gonna want to go to Windows, and then you're gonna want to go to Cursors. And now you just gotta paste it in. And this is a part where it's different for everyone. For me, it just says continue. It might say you have to put a password in and then continue. Or if it says something else, you probably won't be able to do this, so I'm sorry. But yeah, there it is, cursor 9. Um, now, now we can exit out. Um, now you're going to click on it, click rename. You can name it whatever you want, but last time, for some reason, I had a problem with this. So just copy the name. Uh, I usually change the name, but for some reason, I had a problem, so I don't do that anymore. So now you're just going to want to right-click on the desktop if you have Windows 8, and it should be come up with personalized. If you're on Windows 7, uh, I'm not sure how to do it, so if you do know how to find personalize, and that's great for you, you'll still be able to do this. Um, here we go. Now you're going to want to click change mouse pointers. Um, now here is the part that's different for me, or it's not different for me, but I added in a lot of stuff. So here's the working in background. It's basically the loading thing after you click it and it starts loading. Um, here's mine for me. It's a diamond sword with a Minecraft block. You may have seen that earlier in the video. And obviously I set down here an iron sword for the link select. So right here, see, I gotta go click on a link, it turns into an iron sword. So it's pretty cool. Anyways, if you want to have a normal select, you could also make a bunch of new cursors and add them on these like I did. Anyway, double click the normal select and just paste in your name, like so. Open it and here it is, the amazing cursor. And for some reason on cursor.cc, like, the images are really, really, really small, so I would advise making it big and using the large area. But here we go. Now you're going to want to click Save As on the scheme. Save it to whoever you want. Let's say Sexy Cursor. Cursor. Um, yeah, there we go. And now you're just going to want to click Apply. And click OK. And yay, there's our cursor, but don't stop yet. That is not all. Um, if you restart or turn off your computer, this cursor will go away and it'll go back to the default cursor. So that's that's upsetting, guys. So what you want to do is just click, right-click on the unsaved theme, click Save Theme, 
and just type in the name sexy cursor and if you're wondering why I'm spelling with two R's don't, just don't even ask just don't and then you're gonna want to double click on it make sure it's loaded and there we go guys you now have your amazing amazing cursor it's pretty awesome well guys I hope you guys did enjoy this super easy tutorial if you did make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel follow my twitter it'll be down in the description below and as always guys this has been Salty Parchment and I'll see you guys next time